What's up guys, Sinistalker here for a new video. This one up here is gonna go around town, hit a couple spots, actually one spot in particular. I always do around this time of year when it gets Christmas time, there's a store I gotta go to. It has an amazing selection of festivity goodness. I'm gonna go in there, we'll go in there, a quick little walkthrough. And after that, I'll probably come back here. Let's I go somewhere else. We'll probably come back here and have a nice stack of some movie reviews to, to review for you guys toward the end of this video. Really, really cool stuff. Look, a uh, really rad release coming out today on Steelbook. It's very, very cool. Awesome 90s cult classic, classic movie. Comes out today. I got it for a review, so look out for that toward the end of this video. Let's get going, check out some awesome holiday goodness, and then from there, review some flicks and see what else we get into. Are we here at, and it is City Lights, right over there, year-round Christmas shop. They also have Halloween stuff too, so we're going right up here and check out the goodness as I do. In the last few years of videos, kind of like, Going in here and checking out all the Christmas things and seeing what kind of stuff. Kind of getting that festive vibe. Maybe I'll buy some too for the pad. You never know. But it's always kind of fun to check out. And it's, you know, it's pretty cool. And here we are inside. I got to do some voiceover because the music. But look at that tree. Look at all this great festive stuff. It's like a life-size looking deer right here. Look at all this. It's amazing the stuff they have in here. If you're in San Diego, definitely check us out. All the ornaments up here. There's some Halloween ornaments. Very cool. Look at these like old-fashioned ones. I love these. These are very nice. Like the old fashioned ornament style look. Love the way the box art looks too on those. Really, really cool. I love that. Look at all those. These are some fancy ones. These are like 83 bucks to $100 ornaments. Very pricey these ones are, but very collectible. Very nice looking display them like in a case like this. Very cool. And they got these like light up trees. Kind of old school look to them too. And these like little, there's a bunch of Santa miniatures right here. Look at all these Santas you can put on display. There's a big one right there. And it's all these different lights, a gigantic nutcracker. And look at these wreaths. Cool fiber optic looking wreaths. Look at this Grinch. Very nice. I love that. Very cool looking out by the door. That'd be really, really cool. And it's like different things there. A cheer plate. And it's a Grinch Christmas tree. I love that. I love that Grinch with that fur stuff right there. Kind of that trippy Dr. Seuss look. I've never seen those before here. Those are really neat. And they get this little mini miniature town Grinch look. And it's like another like old school miniature town. I love these things. Since I was a kid, I love these like little towns, little Christmas towns. Snow globe action, electric snow globe. And it, look at these glitter globes, whatever you want to call them. Very cool. Okay, they make music too. And in the back here, you have all these different trees and lights, like all kinds of crazy colors, like you'll see in a bit. Like pink right back there purple There's like a santa claus landed in a tree look at these, look at these trees like very cool looking I, I love it all right so just left city lights right over there i didn't get anything in there get some ideas though I'll probably go back there probably be my mom you know because she likes going in there i'll probably buy some stuff with her you know because i feel if i buy it without her she might be like why'd you go without me so i'll go with my mom probably like later this week buy a couple things like some decorative items but i get some ideas going in my head but we have a very cool place i do all voice over in there because you're playing that but like you know copyright christmas music and stuff so all voice over in there, but definitely a really cool spot. If you're in San Diego or nearby, definitely check this place out. They have so much really cool uh, like Christmas stuff in there, like really good ideas to get like Christmas things on. They even have a Halloween area too, you get like Halloween de uh, decorations at too. So a very, very cool place now. Might go back home and do some reviews, so let's go do that. If not, I'll go somewhere else. If not, I'll be back home. Back home now, as you can see, I took off my little coat. So let's get down to some movie reviewing right now. Movie reviews right now. Let's get down to it. I got some awesome titles here. I'm going to start off with first from Paramount Pictures. And of course, I got this 1994 cult classic release from Quentin Tarantino. And that is the first time ever 4K Pulp Fiction Band Limited Edition Steelbook right up there. Took out the J card. And right up here, you get the Red Apple Cigarettes, a Royale with Cheese, and the $5 milkshake oh yeah this looks awesome here in 4k this comes out today on december 6th so if you want to get this limited edition still book make sure you run out to your stores probably by tomorrow to get this this is very cool you also got a standalone 4k of it too with the slip cover pretty cool like black and white imagery but the still book right here looks rad let's take a look inside blu-ray the 4k let's go look behind these check out the artwork there you go right up there you got john travolta umer thurman doing the little dance number they're doing over there at jack rabbit slims and so this looks awesome in 4K. I watched this other you know, last week. I watched it in a while. It was great to revisit this one. Great classic. Great memories of this one. Very for, one, of the, one of the very first Dita's ever bought. One of the first two, actually, is Pulp Fiction. From way back when, over 20 years ago. So it's cool to get this in 4K now. Here in this beautiful steelbook. Look at the spine of that thing. 
looks rad. In the back of that J card, you get some extras here, some documentaries, some interviews, and things like that right up here from the Blu-ray and the 4K. If you're a fan of this movie, it's definitely an awesome upgrade to get in 4K. It looks really, really good. The, the sound's awesome too. Everything's like really cleaned up. Really, really nice, superb job here by Paramount. Love this film. Great classic here from Quentin Tarantino. We have a really cool series. This is Reacher, based on you know, Jack Reacher's stories up here where he's fighting, you know, Jack Reacher's fighting dirty cops, politicians, and things like that. Here it is in season one, right up here, here on Blu-ray. You also get 30 minutes of extra features that are not available before, but they're only on this Blu-ray set. Awesome slip case up here. Look at that, bam, get the discs inside. Boop. Two discs right there. All the episodes of season one here in glorious HD Blu-ray quality. Great fun show, definitely a cool one. Action type movies you know, and, and stories and a series of a TV show, you'll definitely enjoy Reacher, available now. And right up here, pretty fun one, some South Park awesomeness. This is post bump bump the C word right up there. It's two special events up here, two shows up here in South Park goodness. And there is the discs inside, well, one disc inside, right up there. And just so funny, funny stuff about what happened and the craziness uh, that we all went through in the past couple of years. It's like a post episodes of kind of their take on society and things like that, what is going on after the craziness that ensued. So pretty fun stuff, South, South Park, things like that, hilarious. Good, good stuff right up here, available now. And next up here, I get some titles here from NVD Entertainment, some other very companies and things like that. For us, start with this one really cool set up here, 4K set, uh, 50th anniversary edition of this movie, which I haven't seen this in a long time, so I got this to review, and that is Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. Good stuff, you know, you know campy, cheese, but fun stuff. 1972, this is made. Awesome, beautiful slip up here. And check out to get the cool artwork right up there. Where all these people that go on this island, a group of people, and the guy is named name's Alan, goes like there's like the seance and brings up the dead in the sense, and is then fighting off the dead and a monstrous zombie plague on this island, take refuge in an abandoned house and things like that. And pretty you know, pretty cool uh, makeup effects for the time. You know, cheesy stuff, kind of a nice cozy feel when you watch this it's like a little campy but pretty fun is just one children children shouldn't play with dead things and it looks really good in 4k i've never seen it look so much better i seen it, I remember i seen this an old copy of this on dvd a long time ago i haven't watched it since then and it's great to revisit this in 4k it looks super good you got a boatload of extras up here check that out like a lot of kinds of stuff read some of them off you got a 90 minute documentary 2022 uh fan interview 4k theatrical trailer music video, fan tribute video, and so much more up here. Very, very cool stuff. Show us like inside up here. Nice little uh, booklet up here of the film. And you also can see you get the, the disc one and you get disc two right up there. So 4K goodness is that. And so it looks a great one. Good horror stuff, cool slip. Definitely it's available now. I think it comes out today actually. And definitely a cool one is this. If you want to revisit this one again, children shouldn't play with dead things. Definitely upgrade this one and get this one. Very cool. Yeah, that slip looks awesome. And right up here, it kind of goes with that in a sense. Like a, 19, a 1970s style movie up here. And that is Creature from Black Lake, a Jim McKellar movie. And there's some good cheesiness is this. I've got this, these two guys from university go to like the, the, down the south and these like the swamplands and try to find and investigate this uh, folklore creature. In doing so, this creature is there and killing people and tries to attack these two college uh, type, you know, university people studying what's going on here, trying to get proof of this. And in doing so, that some of the townsfolk don't like him and things like that. It's just kind of it's a very campy, kind of goofy, uh, low budget stuff, and it's shot really well. Awesome wide screen ratio in this thing, aspect ratio. It looks great here in Blu ray. And it's like, just a fun one. I remember seeing this like a long time ago too. Here's from Synops. Here is the disc. They have a great interview with the uh, director of photography of this thing, trailer, and I believe a commentary track too. And some stuff like that. So very, very cool stuff. Here's the back up here. Looks really good here in Blu-ray. Fun monster movie. Like you can watch that nighttime. Fun stuff, you know, cheese ball, but it's pr still pretty cool for like the campiest of it is. Definitely, if you like that kind of like campy horror kind of stuff, you'll definitely enjoy Creature from Black Lake. You know, it is the time of Christmas time. You have this one, and that is Christmas Cruelty up here from Unearthed Films, MVD Visual. 
And this like Swedish movie made us a little bit of a handful of years ago, it released now here on Blu-ray. Pretty much he follows serial killer. It takes place the events going on around Christmas time as he kills his victims off. And it starts off really crazy. It's an insane scene how it just it just starts off right in your face of like uh, him, like the, the killer dressed up as like Santa with like this buzzsaw and a baby infant. It's just insane. And the mom too, it's just insane. Then from there, it's like a backstory leading up to it's like those events. But some of it's a little bit slow, I thought. Like, it was like, what's going on here? Some of it's like a little bit slow, slightly dragged. It, it was all right, this one. I thought it'd be a little bit more um, stuff going on, but still wasn't bad. Really good, it's like crazy stuff, like, you know, gore wise here and there. But so some of the story um, leading up to, like, said, so get the precursor events, uh, and you get the, the backstory, then you get what's going to happen. It's sort of like it's 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 layered a little bit a little bit weird, but but not bad. But it's it's still pretty good. This Christmas cruelty, pretty good. If you like gore and like Euro type gore, kind of like hardcore gore stuff, you definitely enjoy Christmas cruelty and some of the stuff that goes on in this thing. Nice metal music in this thing throughout the movie, so that's kind of neat and things like that. A lot of extras in this thing, kind of commentary track behind the scenes and uh, trailers and so much more here. And if you're a fan of that kind of stuff, like kind of like gory. Indie movies you'll definitely enjoy. Christmas cruelty, add to your Christmas horror collection. So it's 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 pretty good. I said it's all right, is this one? So buy it or maybe maybe watch it with someone else see if you want to get it then. But it's still it's not bad. It's pretty pretty good is this one, and that is a Christmas cruelty. And up here we get some really fun cheese from Scorpion releasing MGM. It has LA Bounty it was you know sorry, Sybil Danning. You get Wings Hauser, he's a fantastic, you know, B action actor and she's a great B movie actress, you know, 80s action stuff. She's like a bounty hunter on the hunt, trying to get him wings house like a, a artist, but he has a little it's like a crazy artist guy, but he also has like he does like involved like the crime and things like that and just kills people off. And he's kind of been hiding and she kind of finds out where he's at. And so he's kind of, and she's kind of taking all his team out and wants to get take him out. And she's like and he's like hell bent to get her before she gets him in the like 80s LA goodness of over the top explosions, shootouts, fun cheese. So if you like action flicks, LA 1987, 88 style, Sybil Dane, big guns like that, and just like all you know, great popcorn movie, drinking a beer, whatever, having just a fun time, you will enjoy LA Bounty. Looks great here on Blu-ray, sounds good. Just over the top fun. But you like I like like the 80s stuff with like LA with the back background you get different prices and some of the stuff they go to the locations they're no longer there but back in that time they were very cool stuff not much extras things like um, like a trailer and I think I think that's about it in this thing extra wise but still pretty fun one if you like good cheese ball action flicks LA Bounty is very very cool it will not disappoint it will not. And one more thing is a special honorable mention I believe it comes out today it has a Shaw scope. Uh, the Shaw Brothers Volume 2 collection. I got the first one down there. comes a big box set. They had none of them available to release to review, but they gave me like these discs, little screener discs to uh, check out here in Blu-ray of the movies and stuff like that. But I got it right up here. Bam, that's what the set looks like. I believe it comes out today. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get a copy of it to review. I got the first one from last year, but they weren't issuing that many out at all. That's from, from, from what I heard of to review. But that's why I want to talk to you guys about it. If you like cool Shaw Brothers Kung Fu flicks and like more stuff. Like if you get to the volume one set, it's a great set. I have it over there. Beautiful set. It's like huge, freaking cool. Up like 10 movies or so of like pretty rare. Shaw Scope, Shaw Brothers movies. Doesn't really show, but it's kind of an honorable mention of that. In case you guys are interested in that, it's available, I believe, right now. And check it out, Arrow Video, right down there uh, below. And that's it for the reviews. So all these titles I mentioned up here and things like that and reviewed, links down below if you want to get these information about where to get them at and things like that. Of course, you can go on Amazon, go to the actual websites where these companies are at, maybe your local movie store or Walmart or what have you. I might have them there too. Let's get back to the rest of this uh, video, huh? Boom, just like that. Like I said, we are done with the reviews. I'm pretty much done with this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to thumb it up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. Oh, oh yeah. And time for me to kick back, chill up. Maybe pop on some Black Christmas since I wanted to show me to watch that tonight. Or maybe pop on a tape right up here and check out some classic Christmas Eve, which I'll do a video soon, of like, which I always like to do, what I like to enjoy, what I like to check out for around this time of year. Christmas horror, family fun movies from my childhood, cartoons, specials, and things like that. I always like to do a video like that. So look out for that really soon. And some more festive funness around my area and elsewhere. I'll catch you guys later next time. I'll see you then.